Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. Today we're back with Simplicity Linux 1204 Alpha. Yes, it's an Alpha. So there will be some problems, and there may be not. But we'll soon find out in a little while, won't we? Now, based on Puppy Linux, or to be exact, Wary. Yes, old Wary Wary. It's very, very good. It's very small. It's also easy to install and doesn't take no time at all. Now, this is the netbook edition, okay, for netbooks. But obviously, I've not got it on a netbook, have I? No, of course I've not. But this is the netbook edition, and I would say this would run really, really, really well on my old EPC 900s with the old Celeron chip in it, and even better with the newer ones, okay? So that's super duper duper. I'm going to give you a quick look round, not too long, because it's a little bit similar to the last one, which is not only done a couple of months ago, so off we go. Now, as you would expect, being netbook edition, you have these in the centre of your screen, so nice big icons. It would be nice to have some wobbly windows or something. Did I say that right? Yeah, wobbly windows. Oh, yes, I've got it. Thank you. So, you know, give it a bit of an effect. And I'm sure we can get that round, okay? Using compies somewhere along the line. But I'm not sure, okay? So, anyway, we've got networking. Don't need to do that because it connected fine by me. But if you've got wireless, which your netbook would have, okay, this is where you go. So, shall I click on it? Yeah, okay. We'll click on it. Now, bear in mind it uses XFCE, okay? XFCE here. So it's pretty nice and smooth to use. Now, as you can see, I'm connected by a cable. If you had a wireless card, normally, I'm going to say again, normally it would show up here. Okay. Good. That's that out of the way. Now, under Office, there is no Office apps actually installed. It's all been stripped out, basically. So all your, your stuff we want to use is online or in the cloud. Little fluffy clouds. So we've got Zoho Writer, Zoho Show for presentations, Zoho Sheet for your spreadsheets. It's also Google Maps, Gmail, Evernote, 30 boxes, and Wiki, Wikipedia is there also. Now, Zoho is really, really good. Okay, so if I double click Zoho, oh my lord, is it doing stuff? Yes, it is. So I can see that. It normally goes straight to Zoho, and you can sign in here. So, shall I sign in for you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, I've signed in already before. I was, when I was testing, of course. And I put my password in. I don't want to save the password just yet. This is actually using Firefox 11, by the way, before anybody asks. Okay. Firefox 11. There you go. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, as you can see, it's just like any other word processing thing, really. There's no difference. And you can do all bits and share and bits and bobs and doodars. You know what I'm saying? And if you use Zoho a lot, it's got lots and lots and lots of stuff to use. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, we'll get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. All right, next is media. Now, I'm not going to open everything in these boxes. Blinkbox, Flickr, Groove Shark. I like Groove Shark. iPlayer. That's BBC iPlayer if you're in the UK. By the way, you can't use it anywhere else. Last FM, a link to Linux Outlaws, many books for free books for your e-reader or your netbook, Picasa for your photos, Rat Hole Radio, TV Catch-Up, UK only, I'm afraid, and Utify. It's a bit of a youtube -y thing. You can use it if you like, and you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. For internet, if we open up again, you direct links to Facebook's Gmail. Facebook's, what am I talking about? Google Maps, Mebo, I don't like that. Me Bibbit and Twitter and Wikipedia again, so there's have repeated some things there. And under your games, these are all web games, okay? I'm not going to open any because you may imagine, them, but Angry Birds is in there, and Cut the Rope is in there, and Fantastic Contraptions. Kids like playing that, actually, it's really good. And you see a little bar flash up there, which I'll get back to in a minute. And as I said to you before, Firefox 11 is here. It actually updated itself when I installed it a little earlier, so you know, it doesn't come with it, Firefox 11, but it's using it now. I had a little bit of a problem earlier. I opened another tab up and the whole thing froze. So I'll try that again, see if it freezes again. And this is nothing to do with Dave, by the way, who actually makes the distro. It's down to Firefox 11. A lot of people have been having trouble with it, okay? All around the world. Okie dokie. We'll go to the home page. Hopefully, 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 it won't crash. Hang on, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. We're still waiting. I'm still waiting. I think it's crashed on me. I think it has. Yep. The same problem every time. I'm not even had an extra tab open then. See what I mean? Not good at all. So let's get rid of that as quick as we can. So it's actually completely buggered up there, isn't it? God blimey. Yes, we want to get rid of that. So Firefox 11, not very good at the moment. They need to really sort that out. Okay. No longer ski on that one. Okay. Dropbox are standard. Your package is just a puppy package manager. So you can install Abbey Word, Genomeric, or LibreOffice if you so wish to do so. You don't have to use all the web apps. But, you know, as they're there, you might as well use them. Determine our trash and setup. Basic puppy setup. I'll quickly open it for you. As you can see, basic pup. Okay. Then down in your menu, it's XFC menu. As you can see, it's all here. 
although a lot of stuff has been taken out okay it has been taken out there's, there's no um, gimpy and stuff like that that's just MT paint that's all you get look, nothing really nothing really so we struck quite a bit out now apart from the Firefox problem it's quite nice to use although I don't like the desktop wallpaper personally you know I really don't it's not my cup of tea but then again don't shoot me I'm only the messenger okay by the way, you get the old style bar at the top here for shortcuts to Thunar, uh, Opera web browser, etc. and stuff like that. And you get Task Manager. Just open up for you. Yeah, you might as well show you what's going down. As you can see, 61 mega RAM it's using, and your CPU's only going nothing really. It's not doing anything at all. So yeah, nothing jubbly. I like it very much. Thank you. Anyway, Simplicity in Linux, Netbook Edition 1204 Alpha. It's pretty okay. You just hope they can get Firefox sorted before the release in April. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a pain at the bum, really, isn't it? I'm not going to score it because it's too L3. Okay? Sneaky Linux. Seeing you later. Bye. See. Bye.